Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can add a gamble command to your Discord bot. This is a pretty simple command to do, so we're just going to jump right into it. So getting started, we're going to go ahead and create a new command. So right click your commands folder, new file, and name it gamble.js. Now head on down to your ping command, copy all the contents in there, and paste it on over to your gamble.js file. Now we can go ahead and change the name as well as delete these two lines. Now first thing we need to do is add some modules and files at the top, so let's go ahead and add our money file, the discord.js package, and the fs package. Now that that's done, let's get straight into the next part. So first we need to check if the user has a money account, as well as if they even have the money that they want to gamble with. So we're gonna go ahead and create an if statement. Next, let's make sure that they entered the amount they want to bet. Now, obviously, when our users are gambling, we don't want them to be able to gamble with letters. So we need to create a try block that will filter out any letters they may enter as their bet. So what this try catch block does is it takes our argument and turns it into a parsed float and then sets it to the variable bet. If it is able to parse this as a float, that means they did enter a number. It could be a decimal number, and we'll get to that part in a second. But if it isn't a number, then that means they entered letters, and then it will fail this try block and go down to the catch block, which will then enter a message. You can only enter whole numbers, so it'll tell them they can't enter letters. Um, so next up, we need to check if what they entered is a decimal number, because obviously we don't want them to enter decimals as well. Um, you can actually change this to parse integer uh, if you don't want it to tell them anything, but I'd rather tell my user that they can't enter um, uh, decimal numbers. So what we can do is we can create an if statement, and if bet does not equal math.floor bet, then that means it is a decimal number that they entered, and we want to return with a message telling them, nope, they can't do that. Now that that's out of the way, our user should only be able to enter whole numbers, so we now need to check to make sure that the money our user has is enough to cover the bet. So how we can do that is create an if statement, get our user's money, and 
and then check whether or not it is less than the bet. So if it is less than the bet, that means they don't have enough money to cover it and we want to return them a message. Now the next thing, you don't really have to add it, but I add it to my bot so that my users aren't able to gamble as much money as they possibly want. So we're going to add a maximum possible bet. To do that, we need to go back up here, enter down two lines, and create a variable. And we're just going to set that to 10,000 for now. Now I'll go back down here, and we're going to create an if statement. So if bet is greater than max bet we're going to return a message and actually we're going to go ahead and set this as a variable so make sure you enter in these and we're going to put max bet dot to local string um, to local string, if you do dot to local string, that basically makes it so it'll add commas every three uh, zeros or every three digits or whatever. Now, if the user gets through all of this, that means that their gamble went through correctly and that they didn't enter anything wrong. They didn't enter any letters. They didn't enter any decimal numbers. So we can then go ahead and create our 50-50 chance variable. So how we can do that is we want to create an array. So we're going to create... Um, let chances equal and then we're going to put win and we're going to put lose because we want it to be 50 50 and then we need to create a variable pick which will pick one of those and set it to chances math dot floor math dot random and then time oh and then times that by chances dot length. Okay, so then we have our pick. It'll pick either win or lose each time this is run then if they get to this point. And then we just need to make an if else statement. So if pick equals lose, that means they lost. And all we're gonna do is we're going to change their money, money message, Dot author dot ID and so we're gonna grab their money and we're going to then minus equals bet from that then we can go ahead and save so write file and dot we're gonna grab our money dot JSON you can go ahead and copy this from one of your other files actually that's a good idea let's go to our pay command grab this block right here, come on over, and then just paste it in. It's much simpler than typing it out. So then we need to also return a message telling them that they lost. So message.reply, and we're gonna say, uh, you lost, and then put uh, new balance, and then enter money, message dot author dot id dot money and that'll tell them how much the money they have okay so next we can go ahead and create our else statement so this means that pick equals uh win we don't have to write that out uh, and we're going to do um then we can copy both of actually we can copy all three of these lines and paste them down here we're going to change this minus to a plus because we want to give them their bet then and then we can also change this to you win and then new balance equals that as well so that's basically the entirety of the command so if we open up our terminal real quick and run our bot our bots now online so we can open up discord and check it out so now we're on our bot and if you go ahead and check your balance i have 110 right now if i go ahead and do gamble 10 then I lost and now my new balance should be 100. So uh, there is one last thing actually that we're gonna add to the command and it will be a, a feature where you can bet all of your money if it's less than 10,000. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. 
So it's really only one line. We're going to head on up here right below our, or no, right above our try block. And we're going to do an if statement. So if args zero dot to lower case, if that equals all, that means that they entered all. And remember, we don't want them to enter letters, but all will be the only thing that has letters that they'll be able to enter. And if that um, does come out, we don't want to return anything, but we do want to basically change args zero to equal our money. So it's going to equal money and then message.author.id dot money. So then let's go ahead and save that. Let's go ahead and shut our bot off and then reboot her and then reopen Discord. And now if we go ahead and do gamble all, you'll see that it gambled 100. And now if I check my balance, obviously it'll be 200 because it tells us our balance. Last thing I'm gonna show you guys is that if you have more money than the max bet, so if we have more than $10,000 in our account and we try to gamble more all of it, if we use the all word, uh, it will give us the error message telling us we can't gamble more than 10,000. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the coding program. And now if we open our money.json and change our money to say, well, let's just change it to 200,000. And then we save and we reboot our bot. Now we can head on back to Discord and try and gamble all. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe for more bot tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.